Hey everybody, welcome to Crady Lab. Good folks at Master Airscrew sent me a few of their MR series props to try and I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a follow on of my Jello Killer video. If you watched the original video, you'll know it started out as a motor mount review and evolved into a vibration test of several dissimilar props for camera drones. This time I'm focusing on three 10 inch props of similar pitch and materials to see how they compare in both vibration and noise. I would have included thrust tests, but the Rotorcraft Systems Engineering and Simulation Center at the University of Alabama in Huntsville has already done extensive comparative thrust tests between the Master Airscrew, APC, and Gropner E props. Also, I don't own a thrust stand. What the Simulation Center found was that the Master Airscrew prop outperformed the others in both thrust and efficiency, and for those that are interested, I've included links to those results in the description. To balance the blades, I added weight to the light side using striping tape. And if a hub was out of balance, I used a Dremel tool to remove excess material from the heavy side. The props I tested are the Master Airscrew MR10 by 45, the APC MR10 by 45, and the Gropner C 10 by 4. All three props were picked at random from sets of four, and all three required at least minimal balancing, with the Gropner requiring the most amount of additional weight and the Master Airscrew requiring the least. Only the APC and Gropner required hub balancing. For balancing larger props, I prefer my Dubro balancer. I love the smooth precision of the thing, but for props under about 11 to 12 inches, it just doesn't feel sensitive enough. And for those smaller props, I use a modified top flight magnetic balancer. These rigs are okay, except the balance shaft is overly long and prone to bending, and once that happens, it's useless. My solution is to use a much shorter shaft from a smaller balancer and modify the top flight's chassis to accommodate it. But before I get into the tests, I want to touch on presentation because Master Airscrew seriously has their game on. Their products are priced similarly to the competition, um, actually a bit less than APC and a lot less than Grobner. But just look at the differences in packaging compared to those guys. The Master Airscrew props come in heavy resealable bags with slick graphics and an included printed safety guide. Even their accessories and swag are tight, and I really like the battery straps and badges they included. APC and Gropner, on the other hand, are packaged in plain, old-school bags with stapled cardboard tags. Uh, and the finish of these props is just better, too. The edges and surfaces are smooth and free of burrs and defects with nicely applied logos. Uh, the matte finish of the Gropners is also nice, but their silk screening is less than consistent. Uh, and then there are the props from APC. They only come in gray, and the quality control seems less than stellar. Uh, I've actually cut myself more than once taking a prop out of its bag because APC hadn't properly removed mold flashings. And as a consequence, I now take 400 grit sandpaper to the leading and trailing edges before handling them. My test jig is basically the same modified Taro 650 quadcopter frame I used in the previous tests. An all carbon fiber frame with a rigid iPhone mount screwed to the center plate. Uh, the motor used for this test is a new 700 kV T motor that required a surprising amount of effort to bring into balance. And the black tape over the logo just happens to be where uh, additional weight was needed. The ESC is a little B30 amp flashed with BL Heli 4.8 and is connected to a seriously pro racing F3 flight controller running Betaflight. In my first video, I used a simple servo tester to control motor speed, but this time around I wanted more precision, and the Betaflight's UI offered the granular control needed to set motor RPM exactly. Each test was made at 5000 RPM and was measured using a contact tachometer at the prop nut.
The APC prop actually did better against the master air screw than I expected, as did the Grupner C prop. But those results come with caveats. The APC prop required more additional weight to balance it than the master air screw, plus I had to grind away some of the APC's hub before the entire prop came into balance. In contrast, none of the master air screw props I've tried required hub balancing and most required no balancing at all. And of the three props in this test, the master air screw prop I selected required the least amount of additional weight to bring it into balance. That brings me to the Kropner C prop. While it was the quietest of the three and offered the least vibration, its pitch is also shallower than either the master air screw or the APC, and it's made from a softer plastic. It was also the most unbalanced, requiring more weight to be added than the others, as well as removal of material from its hub. Unfortunately, this was one of the good C-props. The first Kropner C-prop I tried to balance required three pieces of tape along one blade. And while that might have been acceptable, nothing I tried could bring the hub into balance. Eventually, I removed so much material that the prop just looks scary unsafe and is still out of balance. Uh, and at more than double the cost of either the master air screw or the APC, I decided that kind of loss is unacceptable and disqualified it from the test. So to sum up, the measured vibration and noise differences between the APC and master air screw props I tested are negligible. However, the APC is several grams heavier, can require extensive balancing, has a less sophisticated finish, is slightly more expensive, and according to the University of Alabama in Huntsville, produces less thrust and is less efficient than a similar master air screw prop in this size range and category. Bottom line, I have a new favorite. Links to the data I collected, as well as the prop manufacturer's websites and other resources are in the description. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.